Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. We've got some MRR on our hands today. If you're not familiar with that term, it stands for Master Resell Rights. And this is very similar to an MLM, Multi-Level Marketing, Network Marketing. So this is gonna be a bit of a long video because the call that I was sent from this team, I guess we could call them, is called The Legacy Builders. And I think that a couple of other anti-MLM creators have created content around the legacy builders in the past. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what I saw. But anyway, this call that they're on looks like a bunch of testimonials from these people who have been utilizing the MRR from legacy builders. And they're all talking about proven strategies. It's called proven strategies from top digital marketers top digital marketers. Digital marketing is such a bleh. That's all. That's all I got for it. That's how I feel about it lately. It's it's too much. It's too, we're selling everything. We have eBooks on how to wipe your ass these days, for real. It's too much. But anyway, we're gonna react to this call together and have some fun and we're gonna get right the f into it. First, we need the disclaimer. Welcome everybody. So real quick, before I'm, I pass it over to Victoria, I just want to share something with you guys real quick. So this is exactly what we're going to be talking about today is um, how they went from zero to six figures. Many of them, you guys, you're going to hear about their how they mastered that two hour workday, what they did in their two hours. You're going to hear about their proven strategies. And you're going to hear this again from the top digital marketers inside our community. But real quick, I need you to screenshot this because we are not giving you any income claims. We're not saying you can do what we've done. We're just going to share with you what we have done. We're not saying you're going to do it, but we're also probably going to say over and over again that you can do this and make a million dollars. I guess we'll find out. And um, the benefits it's done for us. So what I want to do is I just want to pass it over you guys to Victoria real quick here. You guys, this is really fun because um, Victoria is actually moving right now. <laughs> and because of her success in digital marketing is why she could afford to buy a home. So Victoria, I'll just let you take it away, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> yes, like literally when when Michelle says moving, I mean, we have the movers there. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they are like moving our stuff right now. So that's why I'm in the car because it's just boxes and chaos inside the house. Um, But yes, so my name is Victoria. I'm a busy boy mama. Okay, I've got three little boys. Two of them are special needs. One is a tiny tot tornado. Um, My husband's active duty army and praise the Lord, he was able to come home and like help with this. So I'm not doing it all alone. But um, I was the mama that always wanted to find a way to work from home so that I could make a really good income, stay home and raise my kids, right? And I tried all the things. I tried affiliate marketing. I tried like those emails, like the click -like emails. Um, but I did MLM, multi-level marketing for seven years. Tell me in the comments who has ever done any kind of network marketing. Just say me if this is you. Because if so, you probably understand the amount of work that went into that, right? So I was glued to my phone doing all of the cold messaging, those like copy paste, hey girl messages. How is this different? Let me just stop you right there, ma'am. You are literally sitting in your car while the movers are outside moving all your boxes because you had to be on this call. How is that any different from what you had to do in an MLM? Which by the way, is basically the same thing thing. Let's be real. I just wish that these people would just back up and take a look at what they're actually doing. You're doing the same fucking thing. Just a different vehicle to do it in, I guess. The parties, the follow-ups, um, the recruiting, all to try to make a small fraction of somebody else's dream, right? So I was making 25 to 50% of somebody else's company, not of their company. Wow, that would be amazing. But um, of my own sales. And so I did that for seven years. And I thought that that was the only way that I could work from home and still be with my kids. But in reality, I was with my kids, but I wasn't present. I was glued to my phone doing all those things. Okay. And Are you present now? This is what you're doing in the middle of a move. Your family is moving homes. And so then I started to have my own online boutique because I wanted to have my own thing where I was making 100% profit. What happened for me 
was I wanted to get so far away from social media, which was why I did my own online boutique, right? But I still was not making a significant income that I could live off of. And so I was still on social media and I saw this girl talking about how she made 40 grand in two months doing this digital marketing thing. And I immediately went, that sounds too good to be true. There's no way that's real because I've done network marketing for so long and I know how much work went into that, you know? And so I'm like, no, this two hour workday, there's no way this is real. And it's because society says you need to work more to make more. You know what I mean? And so I just kind of started digging in and I started listening and my curiosity started peaking. Um, and I was in a position where this was a hail Mary for us. I had not made a sale in my online boutique for six weeks. And I said, something's got to give, we need to make something happen. And so I dove in and I know myself, I have a CEO mentality, right? And I'm like, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make 1200 bucks a month. Y'all, I went into this 1200 bucks a month was my goal. In my first month, I made $29,000, which is more than I've ever made in a year. By five months, I hit my first six figures. And now, oh my gosh, Michelle, I didn't tell you this. I'm two sales away from 400 grand. I'm like, I'm like right there. And it's crazy because this summer, I've been so unplugged because we've had the move and my kids are home. And I just wanted to be present. And this summer alone, while the kids were out of school, I made 75 grand, you guys. She's so excited that she's scamming people. It's so amazing. I can't wait to get to the meat of this call. Well, I've like just kind of like hardly worked because I've learned the two hour process. So this is what I love so much about this program. Okay. The, the thing with Legacy Builders is it is Barney style, broken down for you step by step, where we're giving you videos every single day saying, do this on day one, this on day two, this on day three, like walking you through how to start to generate a six-figure income. You just need to have the will and the coachability and the commitment to be able to do it because the people that are committed and are coachable, they're seeing massive success. Uh it's so funny that they're making a six-figure income on teaching people how to make a six-figure income. They don't see it, do they? I'm going to teach you how to make a six-figure income so you pay me so I can make my six-figure income. And then we're just going to repeat the cycle over and over and over and over and over again. Come on now. Um, and the other thing that I love about this is you are never alone here because you are literally being mentored by six and seven-figure income earners. I relate this all the time to how many of you have ever like had to go to a job and you sit down to do your training in front of a computer, right? Um, and so it's just like these video trainings, whereas I personally, I'm very much a hands-on person, right? And so if I have a mentor, like if the CEO of the company comes and tells me how to do my job, I'm going to learn a lot better that way than like just staring at a screen. That is the kind of mentorship that you are getting here from six and seven figure income earners teaching you how they have made that kind of income. It's hilarious. Okay, so I just realized that I didn't even really explain what MRR is. It's master resale rights. Yeah, that's great, Sam, but what the f does that mean? So <laughs> master resale rights, if you're not familiar with it, it is when you purchase the rights to a digital course or digital products and you resell them. So you're just taking somebody else's work and reselling it. So I'm pretty sure what they sell is a course on how to make six figures, and then they claim they make six figures on selling the course on how to make six figures, and that's how they make their six figures. So I just, what? So when people are coming to you with this, please ask a lot of questions. Confuse the f out of them, because they will eventually start stumbling over their words, and they will not know how the f to answer you because they don't even know. So if you are coachable and if you are committed and able to be consistent and follow a proven process, it's proven for a reason, y'all. And this can take you from zero to hero. Like it has literally transformed my entire life. And yeah, we're, we're buying it. Like we're moving down to a brand new construction house that we just built on a private, like in a golf community, y'all. Like who, whose life am I living? It's crazy. So, um, yeah, that's my little story. <laughs> Oh, I love that so much. So real quick, before you go back to moving, if you could give one piece of advice to people that have never launched into the digital space, what would that one piece of advice be for them? 
Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you asked this because, and I think like so many people, especially if they had an MLM background, right? Um, the people that have never done that, they think that anybody that is successful here comes from any kind of network marketing because they had that kind of experience. And so the biggest piece of advice that I could give anybody is plug into the training because we have so many people who have started at zero. And so for me, even though I had that MLM background, I did everything on Facebook, but I personally wanted to learn how to market on TikTok. Um, and so I left that following behind and I started a brand new account at zero and I followed the training to make my, my six figure income on TikTok. So I, my best piece of advice is just plug in because you have all the tools and all the resources right at your fingertips. You just have to learn the marketing strategies to be able to make an income. Mm, so good. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing and congratulations and 400K. Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> I Jeez. love that. Yeah. So Daryl, you are up next now. <laughs> We're going to just pass it right over to Daryl. Victoria, have fun moving. You guys, Daryl just posted in the community that he's so close to 200K. And that is from this year, <laughs> you guys. How does that feel to even say that? It's, it's surreal. Like, literally, like, I mean, and the crazy part about it, like, I was actually at, the, I have a, a really nice park right up the street for me. So I was actually doing my content this morning. So I hadn't even checked anything. And, and I was just going through everything. And I realized that it was one that came in like two hours ago. And I was just like, Man, this is, I mean, but just the fact of just being right there is, again, it's just a surreal moment, really, when I look back at where I come from and, and just what happened last year. But guys, if y'all don't know who I'm, I'm Daryl Hannah, man. I'm just so hyped up, man. Hearing Victoria say she made 400K in one year is just, man, this is mind blowing, but it's so inspiring, you know, because that's the, that's the power of this. Because when I first started this program, um, I, I had seen a, someone say something about how they made like $600 working two hours a day. This was back here on January the 13th. And, um, you know, I, I reached out to them and got some information and they were, and I saw this, uh, watched the video and they were talking about this community. I was asking questions and make a long story short, I got plugged in. So I started on January the 15th. But before that, I would give you guys a, a, a quick rundown of my background. So guys, I'm, uh, I, I used to work in the, in the automotive industry for over 20 years, welding, um, probably about, well, automotive industry overall for about 22 years, welding all together, 20 years, one, one job for 14, um, six, seven days a week, 12 hours a day. 105, 10 degrees in there, guys. I'm talking about losing weight like a cancer patient. Um, I'm talking about just stress, broke, figuring out which bill I need to pay this white this week. Um, me and my wife used to sit down and, and determine which which bill that we had to pay because we just weren't able to pay both of them. It, that's just how it was. And so, uh, guys, I gave that job everything. I'm talking about I was a real company man. I was a three time employee of the month. Um, just I, I just gave a job everything. You know, that's all I knew was welding. And, and so they come in on a regular Tuesday. I'm at work on my line. I was a head welder over seven people, over six people. Uh, they called me to the office, my lead and super, uh, my lead and supervisor, and they had their arms crossed like this. So I knew, you know, I knew I wasn't going to get a pay raise. I definitely knew that. So uh, they just told me they were going into another direction and my department was leaving. Now, I want you guys to understand something. You figure if you've been at a job almost 20 years that you just have sen seniority, that means that back in the day when you had seniority and something like this happened, they would you know, they will let the people on the bottom go uh, temporary or someone's been there a couple of months. But now when you have seniority and they're cutting back, if you're at the top of the chain making the most money, you're going to be the one to get the ax because they rather train somebody and pay them little to no money. So that was me. I, be I became, I, I was unexpendable. And so they basically had to let me go. And so three hours after work, I caught myself in my car crying outside the gate, just trying to figure out what was going on. Cause I, it, this didn't even, it, I, didn't I didn't have any reason to think that they would let me go. Um, I was one of the top earners there at that, at that plant. And so I'm just in my car figuring it out. And so because of that decision, guys, I caught myself, I got separated. I caught myself homeless and staying in a men's Christian homeless shelter because of that, because it caught me at a bad time. No money, no, no um, uh, emergency fund, no money in the bank. I was ex expecting to work that whole week because I needed that money to pay for some other bills, which that didn't happen. So I was counting checks that I didn't even, I hadn't even made yet. And so I just want to first acknowledge that that is bullshit, that people are working in a trade, they're trained doing things and they still can't make ends meet. I think that's a huge problem that needs to be addressed. But unfortunately, that's not really what my channel's about. So while I believe that's an issue, I also found some holes in his story. He just said that he and his wife were working paycheck to paycheck and trying to figure out what bills to pay, right? But then he said that he got let, let go from his job and was staying in a christian men's shelter we have some gaps we've missed some chapters what happened to your wife was she staying in your home and you just decided to go to a men's homeless shelter or is this a fabricated story because i'm not i'm not grasping what he's saying i hope other people picked up on that too when they were watching this while i was crying and i realized this i just told myself i just couldn't i couldn't figure i couldn't 
I just didn't want to give a job all of that time, sweat, blood, and energy. Um, all those pats on the back I got, it really didn't mean anything. All those numbers I ran, those rates, it didn't mean it didn't mean anything because they just threw me out like trash, uh, pick up out here on Friday morning. So after that, I came into the online space, man. I just I knew people were making money. I just didn't know anything about it, but I knew people were making money. I came online. Um, I did a couple things, guys. And then that's when I stumbled upon digital marketing and asked about, I seen that post and asked about the program. So that was, I, and it's funny because tomorrow makes my eighth month since I joined this program because I joined on January the 15th. And guys, I'm going to tell you something right here. I'm just an old country boy from a small town of about 600. I'm from a, I was raised by a single parent with 13 kids in a little shotgun house. And I'm telling you, you don't have to come from money. It ain't where you where you're at. It's all about just where you want to go, what you want to do with your life. My mom didn't have the resources that I had access to. I I joined this program, and and one of the things I loved best was the community. Um, I've been a part of Facebook groups. It was nothing. The community was phenomenal. I just got plugged in, went through the training, and I knew I was on to something because I started with the copy and paste method, which is part of the two hour workday. But I my first two weeks, so from January the um the 15th to January 31st, I made five five thousand dollars. And I had never made that work in seven days a week, 12 hours a day, at trading my time for money as a welder. And so make a long story short, guys, eight months in, I'm like basically one commission away from $200,000. I hit my first 100K. And you got to think, when I joined this program, I was just like, you know what? I came in, like I was watching everybody were making, I was like, man, this is unreal. I said, so my goal is to make 100, six figures in by the end of December. I gave myself a whole year, but I made six figures in three and a half months, a, a little bit under four months. And that's because I didn't understand the power of social media and digital marketing. I didn't, I didn't realize it was a billion dollar day. And I, it, 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 my mind couldn't, couldn't grasp that. And so guys, since then, I have just been following this blueprint. I haven't been ran and been the wheel. I've been staying plugged into the trainings. I have mastered this thing called a two hour workday, which is very, very important. And I tell you what, the fact that I'm like this close to making a bit of multiple six figure income earner in under a year is uh, it's, it's almost surreal. And but you know what, Michelle, I want to share this with you guys. This program is absolutely phenomenal. The skills that I've learned, guys, the, the, the training, the, the community, the support, just everything is it, so strategically put together. There's, it's not any there's no gray areas, guys. It's just white and black like it's. That's just what it is. But this is the best thing that I love about this. This is why I love this business. My daughter, the other day, my daughter is a senior this year. And so she has been accepted into an HBCU school in Atlanta. It's called Clark University. Now, I want you guys, and I'm not saying this to brag, guys. This, this is a blessing. And this is what it's all about. My daughter's going to go there for four years, but her first year is already paid for. And that costs $55,000. I'm able to pay that, guys, for the whole year and deal with the rest, paying for the semester as it go by. I could cry right now because that that's just all I've ever wanted because I missed out on so much time with her when she was in cheerleading, when she was doing uh, uh, T-ball, soccer, stuff that I never had a father-daughter dance. I missed out on all of that. And so the fact that now she's going to be 18 next month. Okay, now I have more questions because there are, again, holes in the beginning of his story. And I'm wondering if this story is even true. Did your daughter get scholarships? Did she get grants? Did you apply for those things? Was there financial aid? Did you pay the full $55,000 cash from this business? Or your wife that disappeared for a minute, did she she help you? I'm, I'm assuming she probably helped pay for college. I know there are women out there that do not take part in their children's lives, but they're not giving these people the full picture is the thing. That's where I get frustrated. And I'm still stuck on the fact that the story doesn't add up just because of that one little piece. I'm somebody that will dissect everything somebody's saying as they're saying it. And I'm like, nothing, none of this is adding up. None of it's adding up. And it's just like, I stay stuck on that one thing for too long. And now I'm still reeling from it. I'm still trying to figure out why that didn't add up. That didn't make any sense. But anyway, let's keep listening. And I'm able to Force out that type of income, guys, because, and this is my why. This is why I show up. That's why this program is a blessing because I went from working 70 hours a week to make 900 a week to now, guys, making anywhere between a, a, a comfortable 25, close to 30,000 every single month. And I only work two hours a day, guys, just following this thing. And it's it's just almost surreal. And and I tell people, listen, you don't reinvent the wheel. Just stay plugged in to everything that we teach over here. It's not, you don't have to be smarter than a fifth grader. You just got to be coachable, be willing to commit to two hours a day and stay consistent. If you can do that, guys, I'm telling you, it, it's it's, un, it's unreal where you can, where this business can take you. Oh, I love that. And that's so good though, to pay for your. Oh bonus. my God. It's, like... it's almost surreal. Mm -hmm. I can't even believe it. Like. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's, but that's just what it is. I'm, I'm just so, it's just a blessing because I could have, 
when, when I saw that post, like most of us, because we a lot of times we think things are too good to be true. So we just scroll on past it. And I could have done that. You know, I could have just did that. Right. But I'm glad that, you know, that was that's literally the best financial decision I've ever made because I never made more than 70,000, 65. I've never made more than sixty eight thousand dollars in any year in business, online, offline, any anywhere. So the fact that I'm I'm who knows what I'm going to make by the end of this year. There's still four and a half months left. But it's just it's an unreal. It's an un, it's, it's, un, it's surreal because. Again, you don't know what you don't know. And that's the power of digital marketing, having a system that you're getting 100% of the commission on and having a blueprint, guys, that's just going to, that's straight and narrow. If you just follow it you and stay consistent and just show up and stay plugged in, you it's going to be hard for you to lose. So somebody had asked in the comments, uh, what do you sell? Oh, Guys, I don't even like that word selling because it sounds aggressive. So yeah, they take this course, they learn from this course how to market yourself and sell digital products. And then they turn around and sell that course that just taught them how to do that to other people so they can learn how to do it. Again, this is fucking bananas. What is happening? But what we do, we promote four digital training programs where you can earn 100% commission. And uh, what these digital training programs do is that they teach people and equip them with the skills to be able to learn uh, strategies that you're going to need to build a successful online business, which is marketing, which is knowing how to attract customers and how to build an email list, other forms of recurring income stream, build a brand, uh, develop the like, know, and trust factor with your potential customers because people do not join programs. They join people who they like, know, and trust. And we teach this through a method called attraction marketing, which is the most powerful and the best way to build a long-term profitable, um, sustainable business, guys. So that's what we do. We, I, I don't even like the word sale because it, it sounds, it, it just, it's, I, I'm not a salesman. You know, and so and it, it just takes care of itself. All you're doing is just promoting the program and the training shows you how to implement storytelling in your content, which is going to allow you to attract customers who want to do the same thing that you're doing. And that's going to allow you to um, send massive traffic back to your website, guys. And then you have a fully free automated system that basically just does all the selling, selling and building relationships inside the emails because they're so high converting and they're going to convert your leads and turn them into customers. And they're going to have an opportunity to build a successful business and get equipped with the same skills, guys, that you do. That's allowing you to earn the income that you're earning. Mm, yes. So good. Yeah. You guys, um, I will show you guys the four different programs he's talking about here in a minute. So thank you, Daryl. And let us Absolutely. know if that too yes. much come then oh. <laughs> during this <laughs> webinar, that would be so fun. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I love I'm that. Hyped. Yes. Oh, I love that. All right. So next, you guys, I want to see, uh, pass it off to Ashley and see if Ashley can share. She is a, a mama and I don't know if her kids are awake, but Ashley, are you able to share my friend? I have one kiddo who's awake and I'm about to run out the door to grab the other two from preschool. So I've got a couple minutes. Perfect timing. Okay. Perfect. Thank so you. you guys, I am like Daryl is this close and Victoria is this close to all these milestones. I'm literally this close to my first six figures. I'm at $98,000 doing this, which is incredible. Like it feels insane. Like Daryl said, it feels surreal. You guys, I'm, I'm a hot mess mama. I put this in the pockets of my day. I have been in healthcare for 15 years. My oldest daughter is five years old. I knew nothing other than like you go to work, you leave your kids. I had so much mom guilt. The pockets of your day. The MLM jargon is making it over to the MRR jargon. The pockets of your day, it looks like it's midnight. Is that a pocket of your day that you should be sleeping? Is that even a pocket? I missed the first four Christmases of my oldest daughter's life and it broke my heart, but I didn't know that there was any other way. I've always been super independent, all about out there picking up overtime, climbing those ladders until I had kids. And then I was like, how in the world am I supposed to leave this tiny little baby at the daycare? Like I didn't have kids for somebody else to raise them. So um, my, my final straw was after baby number three, I was still working full time. And, you know, it kind of just dawned on me that this isn't the American dream. Like I'm busting my butt, I'm picking up all the overtime, but I'm still drowning in debt. I'm still drowning in all this mom guilt. So what's the point? Like, why? And then my last straw was my son needed a medical procedure that insurance didn't cover. And I didn't have the money. I had to ask my mom to borrow money. And it was the worst feeling in the world, just not being able to provide for my kids. So I vowed like right then and there, like, I'll get a second job. I'll get a third job. I'll do whatever it takes. But man, wouldn't it be nice if I didn't have to do all that? Like, wouldn't it be nice to figure out some way that I could bring in some extra income? If I could find something that would literally just make me an extra $600 a month, that was going to pay my daughter's school tuition. And that was going to pay 
um, my car payment, which was going to make it possible for me to cut back to part time and be more present as a mom. Always a car payment. I said this in a previous video recently that I feel like that's one of the things they always target when they're going after people to recruit to MLMs or now MRRs. They are always going and being like, you can make a car payment with this money. It's horseshit. Did you take your taxes out of that money before you paid your car payment? Just wondering. I'd love to know. So I had no idea. That was my goal, you guys. That was my goal. And honestly, I didn't have such high hopes because this was a brand new world to me. I had no experience in this. I had no idea that when I started this, that I'd be having 10 and $20,000 months as a stay at home mom. So I started this in September of last year. I've been doing this for 11 months. Um, and it's just crazy. I started in September. I quit my job in October. I was present in December for the first Christmas since being a mom. I got to see my son's first steps. I've seen every field trip, every doctor appointment, every birthday for my kids. And I never got that before. I was working 12 hour shifts. I was sneaking out the door at 5 a.m. My husband was getting them up. He was getting my daughter off to preschool. I was lucky if I maybe got to see my kids 20 minutes a day. Like, Silly little things that I'm sure sound silly and little to other people are so big to me, like getting to make pancakes with my kids in the morning and just getting to chat with my daughter on her way to school or be the one to pick her up. I never got that before. So I truthfully didn't even realize like how much I was missing until I'm getting to experience it like this. I've never imagined flexibility like this was anywhere in the cards for me. And I love this when I say like flexible. Yeah, it's a two hour workday, but like I've got three kids under the age of five. I have to split that up. So I'll listen to our daily video. They're short, they're bite size. They're about five to 10 minutes long. I listen to that while I'm doing dishes in the morning. I get my husband out the door for work. I get my daughter out the door for preschool. I do dishes and I listen to our training video. Then I make a piece of content while my son's taking a nap. And then I'm about to run out the door and sit in the school pickup line and I'll make another piece of content. I make this work around the life that I want, because I never again want to miss any of those moments. So I those pockets of your day, you're just fitting it all in. God forbid you take a minute to breathe, to just sit and breathe. I just want to like, hopefully inspire you guys that myself as a person has changed so much. Yes, I've made $98,000. And it's been the biggest blessing. But I actually get to be like that hands-on mom. I can sit on the floor and be present with my kids because I'm not so stressed and overwhelmed. I'm not constantly snapping at them. I'm not nagging at my husband all the time. This has given me like something that I've never even saw in the stars for me. So you guys, just in the last six months alone, I've paid off $30,000 worth of debt. I paid off my Suburban three years early. And I just want you guys to know like there is somebody out there, so many people out there waiting to relate to you and your story. So don't look at other people's success and be like, oh man, it must be nice. It is nice and you deserve it. Every single one of you deserves it to know that your time is valuable and there is a way that you can pick and choose what you do with your time and you can make that work for you. You can be present and provide and you don't have to pick between the two anymore. I just want to draw attention to one thing here because I did it to the other dude. $30,000 you paid off and you made $98,000. Is that before or after taxes? Also, what's your husband do for work? She has kids. $98,000 in a household of average household of four people is not going to get you very far these days. So for you to be able to p take $30,000 of that $98,000, which we still don't know if the taxes were already taken out or not, that would be detrimental to a lot of people's income if they were just pulling $30,000 out of $98,000 and trying to make ends meet with $68,000 for the rest of the year. So the fact that you have to, you are a dual income household. I'm willing to bet that your husband probably pays the majority of the bills since you were able to take $30,000 of that $98,000 and throw it at debt, which is cool. Great. Congrats. But give us the full details because if somebody is a single parent and they're trying to make ends meet, that amount of money is not the same for her, if that makes sense. Oh, I love that. And I just want to, um, I want you to share one thing that I think is so inspiring. And that is, I love the car thing where you, you know, are able to literally do this business, you know, when you're in the car waiting for your children. And so you don't have to sacrifice that time 
Um, yeah. Can you share that real quick before you go? Cause I know you got to go, but yeah, it, it's literally just that flexibility. I, I make content in the school pickup line. I literally do this. Over, I will never again, I can confidently tell you, I will never again miss a moment. I heard about this from Victoria. I purchased from Victoria and I told her before I started this, I'm going to see my son's first step. And I was there and I caught it on camera and I sent her a video and we laughed about it. We, <laughs> I cried about it. Okay. Um, but I can tell you like, we're getting ready to go on vacation at the end of the month. And if my family says, Hey mom, we want to go down to the pool. I can literally be like, okay. And in the car on the way down there, I can make my 60 second piece of content. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to be like, Oh, I have to do some office work. I'll catch up in a couple hours. This goes with me anywhere, everywhere, like literally around the life that I want. If you're driving, you're making content, you're in the car on the way to the pool and you're just like, hey, everyone, I'm driving and making a reel because time freedom. I do this in the pockets of my day. Yay. Mm, so powerful, isn't it? So powerful. So thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. And let us know when you hit 100K. <laughs> we oh. want to celebrate with you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. So you guys, one thing I love about this is we are an international business. So the, the first few testimonies as you've heard are in the United States. So what I want to do now is I want to take it over to South Africa because you guys, we have millionaires in Rand money in South Africa. So Lizelle, are you with us, my friend? I would love you to share your story. Are you with us? I thought I saw her. Hold on, let me try again. She <laughs> left the company altogether. <laughs> She doesn't even go here. Um, yeah, try again, my friend. You should build a mute. There we go. Hi. We How are you? Oh, you look beautiful. I love that. Oh, color. thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so inspiring to hear the stories. And every time when someone tells a story, it just tugs onto my heart as a mother. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lizelle. I'm from South Africa. And um, just about seven months ago, I was sitting right there where you are sitting right now depressed not wanting to get okay i love the south african accent my most favorite doctor that i ever worked for was from south africa so like just hearing the accent brings back so many good memories of working in that doctor's office i loved that place <sighs> anyway that was a side tangent get up in the morning i was already working in my beauty salon which i started because i wanted to be flexible i wanted to be a stay-at-home mom i wanted to be in control of my own time but I ended up working so much because I needed more money. And when I needed more money, I needed to book more clients. So at the end of the day, I was missing out on my kids growing up. Um, I was getting home at night, not having time for anyone because I was peopled out. Now, if you are, have been in customer service or if you've had clients, you will know what that means. You are peopled out. You don't have time or energy for anyone else. And I remember my daughter coming home the one day. Now, think about it. I was working extremely hard. I'm putting the comments there. If you are working hard, has working hard ever made you rich? Because I can tell you, I have worked my butt off in my life. I've always been a hard worker. And it has, it was just never enough. And the, the point in my life came last year when my daughter came. I've got, I'm a mother of three daughters. And she came off to school and she gave me a letter from the school that she already wrote. And she that the school wrote and she read it. And the school said, you are not allowed to bring your child back to school if you don't pay up the school fees. Mm. Now that day, I went home and I locked the door and I cried in my pillow. Oh man, I get so emotional. Sorry. And um, no one was seeing my me crying in the pillow because I was just asking the question, when is this going to stop? When is the surviving going to stop? When is when can I can I just have a life with my children and just enjoy it? Life cannot be this hard. And I remember I was this opportunity found me. I actually didn't go looking for it. It found me. I had this woman coming to my beauty salon the one day. Again, I will say that is pathetic that working a full-time job and trying to be a parent is so difficult. 
And as we're seeing here, this individual lives in South Africa and it's happening there too. Again, that's not really what my channel is about, but it is an issue. And I see that people are vulnerable and desperate to find something that works, but this is not the answer for most people. She spent over 13,000 on her face and I was like, hey, what do you do for a living? I live in a small town, that's big money. And she was like, okay, uh, she does digital marketing. And I remember, asking her what is it and I went and I googled about it what she didn't know was I was desperate for change I was so ready I was just not willing to go work for a boss anymore because I also know what it stole from me I missed my child's little one's first concert she didn't have a mommy with her because I had to get onto a plane to Johannesburg for business I've missed out on a lot and I was done missing out on life I was done living by the bread line so I attended a webinar like much like you are today and I attended this webinar and I remember hearing people telling me the amount of money they were making and I was sitting there saying to myself if they can do it I can do it but a million sounded just too good to be true for me so I gave myself a target and I said if I can just make 20,000 rand a month then I would be happy now 20,000 rand a month is about $1,200 that's what I wanted to make a month because in my mind, I was going to still be in my beauty salon, still working and do this part time because I was so desperate for change. Five weeks in, I completely left my beauty salon business because I know I knew then what I found. I found finally a way to work smarter, not harder. I mastered a two hour workday. I made 1 million South African Rand in less than six months. I'm standing at 1.6 million 30,000. I am so close to 2 million this year. This is what I've made this year. So 2 million South African Rand, Rand, Rand? is the equivalent to $114,446.59 US dollars. Such a weird conversion. Like, why is it so weird? Anyway, just so you know, figured that would be helpful information to have. I am making more in a day than I did a month in my beauty salon. You can come up with so many excuses that you're sitting right there, but let me ask you this. How desperate are you for change? Because change, is a click away literally i didn't i had no idea what digital marketing was i had no idea what i was in for and i remember saying to myself if i will i know myself i'm a hard worker if i follow this step by step this step by step system that everyone's talking about and it doesn't work then there's something wrong with the system now let me tell you this lady sitting in front of you michelle o'neill she told us that this system is proven to work and it converts 50% and she gave us all analytics. I'm proof of telling you that it 100% happened, happened exactly the way she explained it. If you are willing to follow a step-by-step -step system and get out of your own way of feeling insecure, feeling that maybe it's not for you, or always thinking, looking at your past, thinking that that's just the way life is. I'm here to tell you, you can change your generational wealth. You can change that generational struggle that you've been struggling with. You can change your future. It takes one person to put in the work to change everyone's life and it will touch your family and your children's life. Thank you so much. So question for you and congratulations on all your success. Didn't you just make a purchase? I did, I did, we bought, uh, guys, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I wish I had time to tell you all this story. When we moved off to COVID, we moved into a house that I didn't want to move in. At night, I had to take bed sheets to cover the windows because I couldn't afford curtains. That is how bad it was. And I was so shy about our situation that I didn't tell anyone about it. I didn't go visit anyone, didn't want anyone to come visit me. And left, right and center, people were buying houses. They were living it all up. And yeah, I am struggling. And since we started this business just about a couple of weeks ago, we bought our dream house on the water in the marina. We're going to we have a boat over there. It is I have to pinch myself daily 
that this is my life right now. So you can just imagine this is why we're so passionate about it. Because once you feel and experience this freedom, you cannot help but want everyone to know about it. Especially if you have been struggling, you know how it feels. Mm, I love that. I'm so proud of you and congratulations. I just, I love to see what's going on in South Africa. And this is just, you know, you think about it. Like I created a piece of content one day. I got pushed to South Africa and Cecilia seen it. And now look how South Africa is just exploding and all the lives that are changing. So thank you for being you and for being an amazing part of our community. I just, I appreciate you thank so much. Thank you so much. I said to Cecilia, she's got a lot of babies now because she was the first millionaire in South Africa. Yeah, there's enough shit going on in South Africa that people in South Africa do not need to be targeted with your MRR bullshit. So please stop that. Just stop. They deal with enough shit. And the ones are coming up. The seventh millionaire is on tonight. Her name is Nambela. She is on. And um, we are really changing South Africa's whole footprint over here. So when, when the time is ready, she will be happy to share as well. Yes, we are going to have her share tonight. And I got to share something with you guys because Cecilia messaged me and she goes, she thanked me. Because um, she can't be on tonight, you guys. So I'm going to get emotional because this is why we do this. Because she's with her daughter at school. And she couldn't do that before. And you guys, this is what we're talking about. Like money is just the byproduct to give that life. And that's why she thanked me because I showed up on social media. She discovered it. And now she gets to live her life. And that's why we absolutely love this. So with that being said, I'm going to pass it. We'll go come back to the United States real quick here. And Jessica, are you with us, my friend? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yay. Hi. Thank you so much. So my story is way different and um, I'm a little slower pace kind of girl, but I live in West Virginia. I literally thought digital marketing was some scam that somebody made up. So <laughs> I'm a skeptic. I have sold products for other people since I was 18. Since I was in high school, I started selling Pampered Chef when I was in high school. She was recruited into Pampered Chef in high school. Was it her mom? This is a problem. See what happens? You raise these kids on MLMs and then they start bullshitting their way through life with MRRs. It just needs to end. Make it end. Scam, scam, scam after scam, in my opinion. Raise your hand if you're an MLM person. You've sold them, I've done it, I did it my whole life, okay? So when I started looking at other ways to make money online, I had all these pre, you know, pre thoughts, like um, preconceived notions or whatever, like you had to have a big following. You had to be an influencer. It's a joke. Like my whole life, I would ship a product to somebody and they would touch it and they would use it and they would like it, you know, and they would buy more. So um, I did, a, I just didn't think it was real. And I thought you had to shake your booty on TikTok to make money. So I thought it was like Michelle says all the time, but I did too. I'm like, I'm not dancing on TikTok. I don't want to make money that bad, right? So if people are making money on TikTok, shaking their ass, good for you. You figured it out. If I shook my ass on TikTok, which sometimes I do, because why not? I don't make any money. So if you have that secret key, you probably have to have an ass. I don't have one. So anyway, let's not shame people who make money on TikTok by creating content. At least they're actually doing something. You bought a course that teaches how to make six figures. And then you're also selling that course to other people so they can learn how to make six figures and sell the course to make six figures and so on and so forth. That's no. What? No. Oh, you know, I just kept watching and I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, so I kept seeing Michelle and I'm like, I think I could do that, right? I could do that. So I did it <laughs> and I made a hundred K in six months. And that blows my mind, blows my mind. And I'm not fancy. Like I'm the mom that doesn't like wash her hair every day. Doesn't brush her teeth till three or four in the afternoon. Like, you know, the, where's the same sweatshirt for a week? Like I stay at home and I homeschool and like, um, being on my phone is not a priority, but we've lived payday to payday our entire life. <laughs> and we had thousands of dollars of credit card debt because we put, car, you know, we put groceries and gasoline and birthday birthday presents on a credit card. You know, it's, it's not glorious, but that's how I've lived my whole life. And my husband worked 12 hour shifts and we would still put life on a credit card. So life is hard and life is expensive. And for me to physically think of taking something and buying something, which $900 scared me to death, but then you help other people and you make $900 a day from one person and you're not on your phone. 
So I purchased and the lady I purchased from decided that this wasn't her thing. So like, I didn't have somebody to say, Hey, where did you find that video? Or, Hey, where can you get on this zoom? Or, Hey, what should I do? What should my name be? How does my video look? I didn't have that. I had that blonde lady right there. And every single day she gives us a video and every single day she pours into us, or there's a zoom four to five times a week, or there's tech help. Like you, you learn from somebody else that's making millions of dollars and you just plug in and listen. And the whole concept was foreign to me until I made my first sale. And I'm like, holy crap, that lady knows what she's talking about. And then you continue to listen and you catch the fever. So um, I just challenge you, if you're still here after all of these testimonies to kind of take a step back, because I watched a webinar like this and eight months, I didn't do anything. I sat and watched and I thought, I'm not I'm not real pretty. I'm not real fancy. I don't have a following. I don't know what a domain is. I don't have a website. Like all of these things that these people would talk about, she did for me. She taught me. She showed me in a video or gave me for free. Like you, and I say it on my lives every day, but a millionaire gives me a video every day for free and tells me how she's making millions of dollars. It's a no brainer. And for me, I, I want to be a testimony for Christ. And I'm so sorry. I'm working too. I was so desperately worried that I couldn't be what Christ wanted me to be on TikTok. Time freedom, working in the pockets of your day. You're working and on a Zoom call to recruit more people into this MRR. Big picture, guys. Big picture. Go ahead and take a step back. Look at that big picture. You're looking like a fool, in my opinion, allegedly. You know, you see, you get these thoughts in your head. And if you've ever been on one of my lives, I'm talking about Jesus more now than I ever have in my entire life. So whatever thing that you have here that you think you can't be on, on the internet or you can't make money online or you can't change your path, you're wrong because you can. <laughs> and this sweet lady has created this and she teaches us and she pours it into us every day, but she does exactly what we do right alongside of us. She's not getting money from us every day. She's pouring into us because she cares and loves us every single day and does exactly what we do together. So step out of the box and you know, that place we put ourselves in that we have to work, 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 work. And maybe just be open-minded to some of us like real people that are changing our life because I'm telling you, it will change your life. So in the comments, somebody said, so you're selling um, a program over and over. What is your comments to that? I love when people ask that because I bought five other digital marketing courses. I watched Michelle's webinar and for eight months, I, I, I bought all the things, all the shiny things because I wanted to figure out what was best. So most digital marketing courses are pre-made videos that you can download to your phone that you can just say, here you go, here you go, have a nice day. But they don't teach you anything. If you have a college degree, if you've ever took a class to learn how to sew or cut hair, somebody taught you how to do that. I bought a class. I did not buy a digital marketing course. And this is a living, breathing class. And if you can't do this, but, or if you have a product or something happens, you, Michelle, and you can't, I know that I could go out and make money online because of what Michelle Anu has taught me. It's not a course to resell a course. It's a way to teach you how to make money online from all platforms and all the ways, you know, all the things. So it, there are courses to sell courses and that's all you do. But this is a community and a class that teaches you how to make money online. Love it. You literally took the course to learn how to sell that same course. And now you're selling the course, but you're lying to these people. Are all these people liars? Did we find the greatest liars of all time and just group them together into uh, legacy, whatever bullshit? What the fuck? So what would be your biggest tip for people looking to launch into the digital space? Don't let fear stand in your way. Mm. there's billions of people in the world and on social media and you, people are so afraid. You're afraid of the money. You're afraid of what people will think of you. Well, you can make more money every day. You can't like, you can't let the fear of that. How long are you going to stay broken? How long are you going to stay where you don't have any money? How long are you going to live payday to payday and sit around and complain? The fear of failure is real. And we worry about what other people would think, or we worry about making that investment. But yet if your TV broke or your phone broke, you'd go put it on a credit card or you'd go call AT&T and get a payment plan for a brand new smartphone. 
but you won't invest in a living, breathing class that pours into you every day with no monthly fee to teach you how to make that back in a day. Don't let that fear stand in your way. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, that's what I loved about the program. And I know that's a lot of people are asking, um, what is it? So I'm going to show you guys real quick, but that's what I loved about it, Jessica, because I didn't know how to automate my business. I didn't know how to use social media. I was trading time for dollars. I was having to DM people in network marketing to make money. I didn't know how to build an email list. I didn't know how to build a brand. I didn't know how to automate my business. And that's what I love. And that's, you know, it taught me that. And so you guys, if you don't know how to do any of that, you'll love this because you can learn and earn at the exact same time. And with it being a digital product program, you guys, you're, you're global. You can sell to anybody all over the world. So thank you, Jessica, so much for sharing. And I'm going to share my screen real quick. You guys, I'm having to do this kind of crazy because I had to get on, um, I had to get on uh, stream um, YouTube a little crazy way today. So I got a lot going on right, right now, but let me go down to it. My slide here, we'll find out. I just want to cover it with you guys real quick. Okay. But the main goal of this webinar today was for you guys to hear strategies from six figure income earners. And that's exactly exactly what you've been hearing because you guys guess what it doesn't matter if you have something to sell if you don't know how to market right that's the thing that's where people get so caught up on um i'm going to market this lip gloss well if you market a lip gloss you're going to make 9 bucks on a lip gloss that means you would need 100 customers to make $900 I love the fact that when we sell a legacy builder program, we make $900. If somebody buys our digital mastery, we make $600. If somebody buys our passive daily pay blueprint, we make $300. If somebody purchases the launch pad, we make $100. Do you guys realize if you just got one customer a day on each of them, that is $1,900 a day you could make. What the f- are her credentials if she created this course did she go to school for marketing is she a business major what are her credentials to be charging nine hundred dollars for an online course i'll wait i feel like if she did have credentials she would be screaming it everywhere it would be on the course it would be everywhere but if you don't have credentials to be putting a course like this together i just don't understand why nothing's being done done about this shit what are we doing can you please share this video so people can be more aware of this bullshit why is this okay you can charge somebody nine hundred dollars for one fucking course on how to sell that course or some other digital bullshit that you're going to put together without any credentials. Why is that okay? $900. We're talking about how hard it is to make ends meet and in the same breath asking people for $900 for a bullshit digital course, in my opinion. I hate it here. And you can do it all through automation. So what happens when you purchase, you get immediate access to our community that has over 34,800 people inside our community. And this is some of the additional training that you get. That's the daily videos that Jessica was talking to you about that you get every day to equip you with what you need with skills and strategies so you, my friend, can reach your goals. We have a content vault that gives you content ideas. We have additional social media training. You get training of how the community members hit six figures in six months. And then here is our program that you get. It literally walks you through. You're going to have a clear understanding of what passive income is. You're going to have a clear understanding of how you can make 100% profit off of digital products and programs. And when you get started today in the program, you are also going to get some additional bonuses. You're going to get Canva crash course where you can create all your content inside Canva. You can get that for free on YouTube. Also going to get the 30 day market strategy growth plan. This is literally the strategies that I followed from going from zero followers to making six figures. Um, You're going to get how to launch your own business using master resale rights, which that is showing you how to make 100% profit. What think about this. If you're going to launch an online business, No matter what you do, you have to have something to sell. Do you want to sell something and make 25% profit or do you want to sell something and make 100% profit? You're also going to get 200 digital product ideas because maybe you want to launch your own product, service, or program. You're going to get the mindset message and marketing to your first million dollars. And if you want to 
launch your business with an invisible um, brand where you're not talking on video, we have your invisible empire training. Good luck with that. That No, people don't like that stuff anymore. If you're trying to launch a faceless brand, newsflash. It's not as easy as she's making it sound. If she had credentials, she might know that. So again, you get all of those additional bonuses. And with the Legacy Builder program, you get all of that for only $900. And that comes with immediate four income streams. And that is what I love because I was like, okay, so I'm going to purchase a program to learn but I can be learning and earning at the exact same time. Now, if that is not in your budget or in your goals and dreams, we have a $600 digital mastery you can purchase, or we have a $300 passive daily pay blueprint or a $100 launch pad, okay? So there's four different products that you can pick from. Now, um, all you have to do if you're ready to get started is just get back with the person that invited you. They actually sent you an email. And um, if you go to the very bottom of that email, you can see a PS inside of there. And that will show you um, exactly all of the products and they can answer any questions that you have, okay? But what I wanna do is we have more testimonials. I wanna take it back to um, Tim. And here's the reason why you guys, I want Tim to share next, because Tim had no experience in the digital space. He was actually from the corporate world and was laid off at his job. And so this was brand new territory to him. So I'm going to have him share his story and what his income is at from going from knowing nothing to um, launching his first digital marketing business. So Tim, are you with us? Hey guys, how are you? I am elated to be here. Um, yeah, my story is not even what you heard earlier. Okay, that's normal people. <laughs> Because this is not normal in any way, shape, or form. Uh, my name is Tim Hess. I have a beautiful five beautiful kids. Been married, going to be 32 years come September 16th this year. And I've been in corporate America in a top 50 retail company and helped that company go from 300 retail stores in a category to a thousand stores. So I'm not the dad that stays home. I'm not the dad that is, you know, like listen to these moms and all these stories. But that's part of life as well. I think one of the most attractive things that I saw about this business working two, three hours a day um, was simply that I could grow a business. It is automated. Um, you may not, if I always say like when I talk about automation, think of Amazon, you know, I didn't have to worry about when you buy something from Amazon, you don't call anybody, do you? When you purchase, you don't call to make a purchase. One of the biggest things is in my role in corporate America, um, growing 300 to a thousand stores, um, one of the biggest things we worried about was automation, the process, how do we do things? Um, and that was really my role. However, let me step back a little bit. Um, being that company for 25 years, they came into my office and said my role had been eliminated. Um, there was three feelings that came across my, my body that moment when they said it. Um, the first one was, how dare you come into my office and tell me I'm not here tomorrow? Um, I don't know whoever lost a job, but put in the comments if you ever lost a job in your whole life. Put a comment say, me, I've lost my job. And um, I didn't just lose a job. Some of us have been in our roles for a very long time, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years. And for me, um, it was a punching up. The second feeling that I had was as it settled in, I'm like pure shock, like pure shock. I was in a role. I was in a position that um, just to give you a heads up is I was the one that made the decisions when I had to cut back for this company. And then third was, how did you not see value in me enough to keep me on board after 25 years? Like, how did you not see value in me anymore? Like it's all gone. Um, so for me, I was like devastated emotionally, um, I could not put it together. Um, I mean, I just helped you build a company from 300 to 1,000 stores. Are you out? I mean, this is not like, like, yeah, it was, um, we helped build and redesign a full automated business for this particular company um, from logistics, from every piece. Um, we wrote the standing operating platform for an extended business in two other countries. So when I tell you, I do not come from a background when I hear all these stories, I'm not even close. However, when I came here, I said, after feeling that way, I was like, never again will I ever go back to another corporate job. Now, I live in California. I live on a golf course. I love the golf. I love to date my wife. And that's what this business has enabled me to do. Today was a really unique day because you talk about um, what this really business means to me. So last out of five kids, last year was the first year that I ever went to a first day of school. Five kids, 25 years. And I went to the first day of school for my son starting high school last year. First time. Like there's something wrong with that picture, guys. Second thing, today he started his uh, 10th grade and I was right there with him. And he's such a cool dude. He is such a cool dude. Some of you need to be, your dads, I'm gonna share something with you. This is my heart telling you, you need to be home. You need to really try to fight to be home and have an income coming in. Please stop, sir. I don't know who you think you are, but some people don't have that option. That's a luxury for you. You're privileged enough to be able to find people to buy your bullshit. Some people have integrity. First of all, sorry about that. <laughs>
that might be abrasive, but I don't give a f- You're sitting here trying to shame parents and I I don't stand for that. You were able to do this. You are finding success in it. Not everybody has that luxury and most parents have to go to work. A traditional job and no parent, zero, none of them should ever be shamed for doing so or made to feel guilty or anything. Mind your own business, stay in your lane and stop scamming people. That'd be cool too. You just got to learn the way and I hope that somebody sees something in this story today that you can realize that maybe this is it for you. I just knew that I worked all that. I left California, just to give me my schedule. Um, Sunday, I was getting ready to go to work. Monday, I flew wherever I need to in the United States. Basically moved, uh, flew from California to Minnesota. From Minnesota, I would fly wherever I was in the company for the uh, across the country. So to give you kind of a background of what I did every day. And I'd fly back to the California Friday mornings. I did that almost seven years. And that was a choice, right? You had the luxury of a choice to work a job like that. That's not what's happening in a lot of jobs. And I'm willing to bet you could have found a different job. But instead, you're sitting here saying the only other option was to quit and start scamming people. So when I tell you, for me, if you're a corporate guy, maybe you don't have that extent of that type of schedule, I can just share with you that was my life. However, I'm blessed. I'm grateful for that career. It gave me the lifestyle. My kids were able to have shoes and socks and things that they wanted. But here's the thing. Um, here's a here's a reality check. My two oldest daughters are in their 30s, married, gave them a great wedding and all that stuff. But can I tell you, my wife is my hero because she's the one that made me look good in front of them when I couldn't show up at the events. See, there's some of you that have a wife or a husband at home. Maybe their schedules are really crazy. And you have husbands and wives that are trying to make you look like a hero. See, my kids knew they loved me, but I did not know they were so pissed at me because I was, I wasn't there. So here's what I knew. My mind is a mind that wants to build a business. So if you're looking at building a business, then this is a great place to be because here's why. Number one, in corporate America, we want everything to be digital. That's where it's going. Corporate America is digital in every possible way because it's the least expensive way to build a business and it's expense, right? The second thing about it is if you can automate the business, because we automated our Fortune Top 50 company, we automated this thing. And oh, here, by the way, we sold courses in our stores. We sold programs in our stores. So when everybody goes in there and goes, well, what do you sell? What do you do? I'm like, yeah, the, no different than that retail company. They're selling them. Like, why? But here's the difference. And what you have to understand, these programs that we promote, they come with mentors. They come with live interactive programs in education. And they're always evolving. So it never stays the same. The good, the bad that's tested before it's put into the program. Uh, also, the people who teach them are not credentialed to be teaching them. They don't have degrees. Keep that in mind. Um, it gets tested and then it puts in. Now, if it doesn't work, we don't put it in the program. It's ever evolving. So that's what digital world is. And that's where the world's going. So let me tell you one of the biggest things that I love the most. I live in California. I live in a golf course. Yes. And I love the golf every day. I'm a 57 year old dad that is living a dream. So just to give you, I would deal with this business has given me, is giving me my love to my family back. I'm there for my grandkids, um, which is mind blowing. And then to sit and even sit even more about a, not even a year ago, I qualified for the PGA champions tour, which is the old man's tour, right? Never in my wildest dreams did this guy. And oh, by the way, I was on a webinar, I think that night when I, when I was yes. part <laughs> By the way, if you go back and look at that webinar, I fell apart. Couldn't believe I was on the webinar. Have not looked at that webinar because I was over the moon on that day, but I was able to share what this business really means. We can look at this business as, oh, we make $900 a day. Got to tell you something, $900 a day is cool. What really motivated me from my corporate perspective is the $328,000 a year potential. And if you heard other people in here, you have Victoria, that's $400,000. You have... Um, my boy in Ohio that was a welder for 14 years, he, he's at 200000 Um, You hear all these great stories. Everybody has a story. Well, I'm living a dream. I actually am going to do four to six tournaments starting October, September, and November this year. Like, don't even know where to tell you. So we can talk about all these great things about the business, but I wouldn't be able to do it if the business wasn't automated. 
I wouldn't be able to do it if the, um, yeah, I even sit here and go like, wow, I'm really doing this. Like I'm really doing this. I think that's life is starting at 50 years old. Well, life has just started at 55. So, um, and I would have never been able to do all these things because the reality is, is it is automated. It is a product that's in high demand. If you're a business owner, I'll simply share with you what business doesn't need customers. Like really, what business doesn't need customers? We used to spend hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars to attract our customers into our business. Here, you're going to learn some strategies how to attract customers without spending a penny, a dime. When we started this journey about this business, it was about starting a journey in a business where you didn't have to spend any money on a monthly basis. That the whole premise of this business, how to start this business out, is not put any money out out of your pocket. Just the initial investment gets set up and there's no monthly fees. Um, man, that's incredible. Like, And you're able to build something. For me, what is really cool about the Legacy Builder, for me from a business perspective, yeah, I have the four programs I can promote. Yep, I do that. I have business owners that are business owners that are purchasing the program because they know how they need to get customers on their downtime, the night shifts, when their businesses are closed, your automations are out there working for these businesses to get customers, okay? So if you're a business owner looking for a business, how to attract customers to your business and make money when you're there, it's there. See, I get that. How many times can we say business in one sentence? Businesses, businesses, business, 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 business. Just stop, let's move on. Like that clicked in my head like there was no tomorrow. Like if I could be asleep, so last night, I had two eighteen. I had uh, eighteen hundred dollars in sales last night, one from Ireland, and one from the United States. And I was asleep at both those times when that automation was working. See, the program is in high demand. The automation is set up from a again. If you're a business owner, you need to make money at every chance you get. And if you can make an income while you're asleep, um, I don't know. That's that's huge. Um, but realistically. Programs in high demand. And really, I, I'm just... Um... Wouldn't you want to be aware of the laws in other countries? Like, I'm sure there are other countries are a little bit ahead of the times, as usual, in terms of reselling courses or digital product sales. I feel like that would be something you would have to be aware of. I don't do uh, contract work anymore as of a few months ago, but I know that when I was working as a contractor doing video editing and YouTube management, if somebody wanted my help in a different country, I had to check to make sure I could provide that service for that person that was in a different country so i feel like that would be the same for this i don't really know if they pay attention to that it doesn't seem like they would uh, the, the the biggest the, the, the last thing i'll talk about is i'm able to grow a business and build a business and here's the other thing i've been able to add income streams to my business because here's one of the things that the the digital legacy builder teaches you as you get older it's not that we're lazy we find out what's really important in our lives being 57 i just want to live every day I just want to live. I, I don't, I do want to fight to be happy. I don't want to have to worry about a bill. I don't want to have to worry about how am I going to fill my refrigerator? I, I know that if I don't focus on the processes that this program, this program that we have here, all I've done is one thing. I have become so crystal clear on the program and the processes. That's how my mind works. But I, I'm not worried about bringing milk home. I'm not going to kid you. I'm not, I'm not there. I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I master what it is that I need to do that allows me to get all those other things. See, I've created th uh, now uh, six other income streams other than the four. I'm a business owner. I build a company. I want to build something for me and my family that I can have a legacy. Like, I want to do that. I understand what that means to me. So they're calling this having four income streams. Purchasing the rights to four courses is not having four income streams. It's one income stream. That is an income stream. Just because you have four different courses doesn't mean like it's a bundle. You bought a bundle. That's one income stream. I think we get the picture. I'm not gonna make either one of us sit through the rest of this webinar bullshit. It was more of just the same, more people saying the same bullshit, acting like they know what they're doing and they're credentialed to be teaching people how to run businesses when that is not 
the case. I think we definitely need our palate cleanser. It's time for TikTok hates your bullshit. Clydia's school called me today and told me she was crying because a classmate made fun of her name. Her teacher said there's a little boy that just keeps saying, your name sounds like chlamydia. She said it's causing a lot of chaos in the classroom because they're in first grade, they're six years old. And she's saying that a lot of them don't know what chlamydia is, so they keep asking, what's chlamydia? And she doesn't know how to handle the situation because she can't tell them about the birds and the bees at six years old. So the teacher is asking me if Clydia can start going by her middle name, which is Doris. But I don't know how that's going to make this any better because my daughter's name is Clydia Doris. So if the kids find out her middle name is Doris, they're going to realize that Clydia and Doris together sounds like clitoris. And so that's a whole nother can of beans to open up. I just don't understand why the teachers having a lack of classroom management skills is my problem. Why should my daughter have to change the name that she goes by, the name that she loves, just because you can't keep the class under control because they're trying to be immature? Seriously, I'm thinking about homeschooling all my kids. Oh my god, I love her. If you're not following her, she's a great satire account over on TikTok to follow. She will be linked in the description. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me while I talk a bunch of shit. And I will see you in the next one.